Famous for being the picturesque city nestled in the Austrian Alps, Innsbruck is home to colorful, charming buildings and jaw-dropping views of towering mountains. In the past, it's hosted the Winter Olympics twice, so it's to no one's surprise that it's a bucket list destination for those interested in winter sports and outdoor activities. We've come at the very end of the spring season. For the next 48 hours, we're just gonna see where the city takes us. All that's on our list is to eat some really good food and to experience a bit of the great outdoors. So let's see what all we find. In just 30 minutes, we have made it all the way up here and we're looking down at where we were walking. And I have to say, I really love these like off the beaten path little trails. Um, I just think that there's something so special about getting to walk between all the houses and just see how people live here. Um, so I will link our hike in the description box if you're interested in looking into it. But it's just so peaceful up here. There's like no one else. decided to stop and take a breather next to this babbling brook and I use the word babbling because this place does feel like it's straight out of a storybook. All of the buildings are just so quaint and so darling and honestly they're some of the most precious homes I've ever seen in my entire life and when we actually came out from the train station yesterday and I took a breath of the fresh air here. It just smelled like a national park or a botanical garden, and it really smelled like the color green. Not only do you have these charming buildings, you have the most beautiful backdrop of the Alps, and they're just towering over, hosts and hosts of mountains just towering over this beautiful city. So I have most certainly been enjoying our time here, and oh my goodness, this hike has been sensational. I just, I feel like I'm completely immersed in nature, even though we are in a city. Yeah, I wanted to add that I really like that Claire used the word sensational, just because it is feeling like there's so many senses going on, the smell, mm -hmm. the sight, the touch of the water, yeah. and like, all of it comes together and you're just like, oh, wow, I am here. Right, I'm present. Mm -hmm. I am in Innsbruck. Yes. And that is what I love so much about this place so far. And now to further our senses, I believe it is time for me to digest Ooh. or die. You can digest. But now, <laughs> I think it is time for me to eat a little apple or something. So what happens <laughs> before <time>. you digest? <laughs> yes, pre-digestion time. <laughs> Share with you. <laughs> mm. We can sit in the shade, talk to lay, and then we'll see. We can go for. making our way back down into the city and I have noticed that the birds have not stopped singing all of today. Like ever since before the sun even came up, they were already up and chirping. They're just so, so happy. And even last night after the sun set, they were still singing. So I guess you could say that 
the hills are alive with the sound of music. I can confirm because I have been hearing it nonstop. All the Austrian locals are just going to be so upset with that They're comment. just rolling their eyes. I know that the sound of music is a very American thing, but it's one of my favorite movies, so I had to say it. Yes. As we continue to make our descent, I thought this would be a great time to share with you the sponsor of today's video, The Wild Chimney, which is our candle company. So we decided to create a candle collection that was inspired by the four seasons and the great outdoors that allows you to travel to faraway places from the comfort of your home. So to make this a reality, we partnered with a local company that specializes in soy wax candles with cotton wicks and all of their packaging is recyclable. So that's something we really admire and we also designed five different ASMR rooms to correlate with each of the candles. So while you have your candle burning on your living room table, you can watch this ASMR room and hear the sounds of the place that we're trying to transport you to. So if you are interested, um, I'll link them in the description box below. Um, but I hope you enjoy those candles that we created and hopefully it can give you a little slice of paradise at home. <laughs> nice. Wow, Claire. Nice plug. <laughs> Number one saleswoman. Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs>to dinner and we got ourselves another beer to share. Every single night we've been in Austria, we've been getting one beer and we split it half and half. But just look at how tall these glasses are. I still can't get over that. And also I did want to note that the beer in Austria has been some of the best beer we've ever had in the entire world. And we've drank a lot of beer in a lot of different countries. So that has to say something about the quality of the beer here. Ooh, this one's got some like autumnal notes. So this is our appetizer for the evening. This is spinach nodel. I might be butchering that name, but nodels are essentially the dumpling here in Austria. And as you can see, they are very, very round. Actually, I did not expect them to look like this, um, but it's a pleasant surprise because I think they look very cute. <laughs> and then they also came with these greens that we actually got in Vienna as well. I don't know what kind of greens they are, but they're like connected and they're really, really good. Mmm. That's nice. That's really good. I thought it was gonna be like a meatball. But yeah. It's like a noodle, wow. Yeah, so like chicken and dumplings. The dumpling, that's essentially what this is. Um, but it's made with spinach. Very tasty. Also, I did want to note that the noodles come in both savory and sweet. So later, hopefully if we save room, we're going to get some sweet noodles as well. So last night when we got into the city after a five hour train ride from Vienna, we were starving and we came to this restaurant and we ordered the exact same thing. And we got it again because it was literally so delicious. So I got their spare ribs and I kid you not, it is some of the best ribs I've ever put in my mouth. And it comes with garlic bread, some um, Austrian and coleslaw and then Chad got their pork filet and it comes with a very special Austrian dish called Kassespatzel and essentially Spatzel is a Austrian egg noodle. Um, it's kind of like gnocchi, it's a little bit chewy but it's very similar to a macaroni and cheese. Well, the food at that place is truly divine, but I think they're highly understaffed because there was one guy waiting like no joke, 15 <laughs> tables. So it took him a while to get our check to us, but it came. Still worth it, still worth yeah, it. Yeah, I would go back I still. mean, that, that guy was a rock star. Yeah. He was running the floor like there's no tomorrow. And like, I, you know, I was a server, so I know how hard it is when yeah. you're understaffed. <laughs> so you just definitely <laughs> still go there, like yeah. it's worth it. <laughs> All right, so evening plants. We have some. Chad actually booked us a very fun and cultural experience tonight. We will be joining the Gundolf family for a folk night. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's going to be a night of shoe slapping and yodeling. Yeah, there's going to be folk music, dancing, and it's going to be a very lively experience. And yeah. we are both very, very excited. We've been talking about it yeah. all day long. <laughs> apparently um, it comes with one drink as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll get some more Austrian beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, well, we're about yeah. halfway there. We're going to keep going because it starts in like what 15 Ten minutes, minutes? Yeah. <laughs> apparently this is the gundall family um the year they started the show in 1967. that's pretty cool <laughs>
they brought us our drinks. Our excitement is only getting bigger and bigger. Just as the room gets more and more filled up. I don't know where all these people are coming from. I don't know either. <laughs> joy right now. I can already say that is probably the number one thing to do in Austria. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm biased as a tourist. Oh my gosh, a hundred percent. That was worth every penny. I yeah. would have paid double. Yeah. That was so much fun. Oh my gosh. And all the performers seemed to be extremely happy. The audience was having the best time ever. It might have been the alcohol, but <laughs> honestly I think it was a mix of both. That was one of those experiences that you're going to remember all the way until you die. <laughs> I was so in love with every aspect of it. And yeah. I have to say there were probably about 12 performers and they were just switching around with so many different tasks, playing instruments, singing, yodeling, Serving. dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they also ran the gift shop as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it was wild. And they really kept you on your toes. Like I had no idea how they were gonna come back on stage, right. like what they were gonna wear, what yeah, they were what gonna have. Yeah, what props they're gonna bring. Or what instrument, <laughs> like yeah, it was very impressive. Mm -hmm. They had so many talents and I really was blown away by just the experience all together. I do wanna add as well that it has been running for about 50, just over 50 years now. Yeah, isn't so, that incredible? Yeah, it really shows they've traveled all over the world mm -hmm. performing. And I think one of my favorite parts if I could even choose, was the ending where they brought out flags from all the countries of the people who were watching their show and they would wave the flags and the people in the audience who were from that country would get so excited because they were being represented and they would sing a song, um, you know, from that country. And yeah, it, it was, was just including everyone in the yeah. audience. Making you feel, you know, a love for that show. It was so wholesome. And at the end of it, everyone was just smiling and, you know, clapping, just yeah. having such an amazing night. So of course, as always, we'll link this experience down below if you do want to experience it as well. But mm -hmm. I think Chad's gonna get a little star time lapse and mm -hmm. we're gonna call it for day one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. We have just made it to the iconic colorful houses of Innsbruck. There's this backdrop of the Alps behind it and right in front of it is the river. And it's definitely a view that you wouldn't get tired looking at. <laughs> also, we got really lucky. We have another sunny, gorgeous, gorgeous day. And today is probably the last bit of sunlight we're gonna see for the next little while because apparently the rain is coming and that's gonna meet us when we go to Salzburg. But I'm just really grateful that we got you know, four full days of sunny weather so far. I'm just so, so grateful. <laughs> I just picked up 
or ornament for Austria. It's a little cowbell. It actually reminds me of the show that we attended last night. There was one part where they're just playing so many different size cowbells, and so I want to have one for our tree. And I also really like that it's red and white. It's the same colors as the Austrian flag. <laughs> Each got a little tray of worsel and it always comes with these really long strips of sausages and this really delicious sharp mustard. It's my favorite sauce in the world. Oh my goodness. And then it also came with two rolls and I've noticed that here in Austria they really like this shape of bread. There's always like this curve that goes into the middle um, and it kind of helps it when you're tearing it apart. We went back and forth about whether we wanted to take this cable railway up to the top of Innsbruck for the longest time. We finally went in and said, you know, let's let's do it. We only have today. So um, we have now made it up here and it was one of the coolest rides ever. And I did want to point out, it was designed by this very famous architect, Zaha Hadid. And earlier today, Chad was like, you know who built this railway, right? And I was like, who? He's like, Bella Hadid. And I'm like, superstar <laughs> Bella Hadid. And he had gotten their names completely mixed up, but not Bella Hadid, Zaha Hadid. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really cool station. Yeah. So if you were to ask me this morning what we'd be doing this afternoon, I would not have guessed hiking. I mean, it would have definitely made the list, but I would not have worn what I'm wearing because I've been complaining nonstop to Claire about it. Um, yeah. That is out here on the trails dressed in business casual. Yes, ready for a business meeting. <laughs> but regardless of transport, <laughs> <laughs> apparel choices for the day. <laughs> We've been having so much fun because the weather has been pristine and so many others are out here enjoying the weather as yeah. well. On our trails that we've been hiking up, there are all of these bike trails as well. Mm -hmm. And there are literally bikers flying by. And as Claire likes to say, she's been commenting about the whir of the bike yes. wheels going by. <laughs> the bike chains to be specific. <laughs> it's a really satisfying sound to hear yeah. out here. and. Yeah, it's just been very therapeutic, very relaxing, mm -hmm. and I'm glad we made the decision to come up here and to enjoy the fresh air. But I think we're gonna whip out our books mm -hmm. and read to the sound of birds chirping to the whir of the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is literally like our time in Innsbruck, is just us sitting on benches reading books. Yeah, it's been very relaxing. <laughs>
know we'll always say yes to dessert, so we have come out to a cafe and we ordered a sasha tort, which is a chocolate cake with some apricot jam in the middle, and also this big dollop of whipped cream to go with it. And Chad got a little drink to end the evening. This is called curcuma latte, and essentially there is curcuma, there is milk, some cinnamon, and then apparently you drizzle some honey um, and then mix it and enjoy. <laughs> so if you don't mind, I'll do the honors of putting the honey on. Okay, okay. Oh wow, it's a brand new one they gave us. You like it? Interesting. It's like a very earthy, turmeric -y drink. I think you're gonna like it. You're gonna want more honey though. That's very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it. Yeah, I'm more honey. Thank you so much for joining us here in Innsbruck. If you want to follow along as we continue to travel through Austria into 50 countries around the world, hit subscribe. And with all that said, we'll catch you all next time. Bye!